Mraig a Borda sit Mike Turnwood where he bought a Ron to E in Invin Capsule and to us in Nour and Sasneg. Good morning, how's your day been? I'm Ron and welcome to my spooky house. But actually, like, I'm I'm a good uh, four or five blocks from home. Uh, I am outside. Uh, um, I think this is a Lutheran church, which you know I, I'm sure the uh, I, I'm sure the Felician penguins who ran my old Catholic school in Toledo would uh, would probably burst into flames. <laughs> Being within a oh gosh, that's actually like one of my favorite uh, jokes from one of my unexpectedly favorite films. I'm sorry, I'm just adjusting the phone in my hand. Uh, so yeah, for like three years in a row at my old school, like the film that we watched before Easter break, and it accidentally ended up being like three years in a row, um, and like we watched it on like an old projector and like somebody hung up for a film screen, uh, was The Bells of St. Mary's that stars Bing Crosby and I forget who the leading lady was. And it's just a cute little movie, uh, with some singing in it. Um, so, but it's not, you know, a proper musical. No. Well, it's not especially plot-relevant singing, but, you know, like, um, it's about, it's about a priest and a nun who work at a Catholic school and, um, do things with the church attached to said school, and it's just about their friendship. It's just a cute little movie about, um, about a priest and a nun who become friends. And, oh gosh, it actually, like, one of, oh god, it, it's kind of like, awkwardly feminist this like one of the one of the um like in the in the final act she gets sick with something i think it's a form of cancer but they catch it early on but this was like in the 40s where uh treatments were far more limited or something and they uh and i say it's awkwardly feminist because the doctors they fir well they first tell um bing's character the priest they tell him about you know what's going on with her and you know, they say, well, you know, better not to worry her and, you know, and, and tell her exactly what's wrong. But he decides to, you know, break doctor's recommendation there. And he's just like, you know, no, I have enough respect for my friend. I'm going to tell her what's wrong before, you know, she goes into hospice here. And so he tells her and she thanks him. And, you know, like I said, that, 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 that's kind of awkwardly feminist in a way. Uh, but yeah, like there's a joke. There's a joke. Uh, I mentioned that about, you know, like the being this a Lutheran church and, you know, the old penguins bursting into flames. So there's this joke. Uh, they're calling for attendance. Uh, in one of the classes, and uh, Bing calls out uh, Luther, and <laughs> then you know, sidebars like you know, whispers to the to the nun, "How did he get in here?" She says, "We don't know," because you know, Martin Luther, the Reformation, Protestants, all that. So, yeah, that's like something that you know, like the, that would be especially funny to Catholics. Um, it would still probably be funny to Lutherans, of course, watching this movie. Uh, but yeah, it would be especially funny to Catholics. Probably a few other people um, who at least remember, you know, the uh, the his their history classes on that. But um, yeah, well, just behind me. Well, he went that way, so I think there we go. Yeah, this is. Do we see his cat butt? Kind of. Okay, he's he's still walking. He's he's found fireflies out tonight. I think that's him. Yep, right about there. So that's Mose. He is a he's got a tag that says my name is Mose. I'm an outdoor cat, and then there's a phone number for ostensibly the primary person who feeds him. Oh, please tell me I did not win, but I just forgot to put it back on. That would be sad if I lost one. But uh, it's been a while since I've done a proper upload, and the reason for that being is I have come to really hate my apartment. Like, I hate being there, I hate looking at it. Um, if it wasn't for the fact that I remember having been homeless and nomadic during that time uh, in my mid-twenties, I, I, I would probably just, you know, like, if it wasn't for the fact that I remember how hard that was on me then, and now I'm, 
and I'm having a 42nd birthday party this Wednesday. Party of sorts. My cats are going to be there. I'm going to make cupcakes. I'm probably going to go out busking for a few hours and then come home and stream, but that's another story. Well, that's a story for Wednesday. But, uh, yeah, where was I going with that? It's like, I've really started to hate my apartment. I hate looking at it. I hate being there. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. And because I hate it, um, it, the, the housekeeping duties have gone to crap. And they've gone to crap to the point where I'm, I'm hating it more. But at the same time... I am, I'm also slowly starting to get things picked up, but like I said, because I hate my home right now, it's been a slow thing coming. I just, I just hate it. I hate it. I'm, I'm probably clinically depressed at this point, but I'm functional in spite of it, so... I don't know. I've got a, I've got an appointment this week. I can't remember if it's before, just before or just after my birthday. Is that a uh, day or two before or a day or two after? But then again, that's kind of how it is when your birthday is on a Wednesday this year. In fact, I was a, I was a Wednesday. Um, yeah, I was born on a Wednesday. Um, anyway, so you might even be able to figure out my real age from that. But that's another story for another time. Um, so yeah, I was a. Uh, I was I was a Wednesday baby. Wednesday's child is full of woe, son of a bitch. That I was cursed from the beginning. Um, yeah. Oh, little Mose. He's he's bad. He's still like per walking the parameter here at the Lutherans. They've got him watching. Yeah, he's a neighborhood cat here in the. I can't remember if this is. Um, if this part of the neighborhood is considered the depot town area or um, since it's on the other side of the river. Well, I know my neighborhood is, I'm at this really weird um, part of my neighborhood where um, depending on the side of the street you are, some people would consider it the Riverside neighborhood, some people would consider it the Campus View neighborhood. I go with, I go with Riverside. I usually tell people that I'm like, in the vicinity of Depot Town if, you know, they are not especially familiar with Ipsy, but familiar enough to know about the Depot Town District, which pff, I don't think anybody outside of Michigan knows even what the hell I'm talking about, but is this like, for everybody else, I'm two and a half blocks from the Wiener, and <laughs> like, you just head down that street until you hit the Wiener, then you make a soft left up the, up the taint, and my apartment is about asshole area. Like, that's basically how you find my, my building. And yet for some reason, delivery drivers find my building so hard to find. I don't know how. I don't know how. It is literally the only building on the block. On the block. It's the only building um, past the water tower. Like, and the river that is clearly designed to be apartments rather than an old Victorian house that has been um, converted to like between two and six apartments depending on the size of the house, right? So, I don't know. I had an idea on where I wanted to go with this other than just like saying that I'm probably clinically depressed. I'm probably like, you know, considered in the functional part of the clinical depression spectrum just because like I hate my home so much right now I hate it I hate looking at it I hate being there I hate thinking about it um the only thing that keeps me coming back is my cat if I you know I'm, I'm sure that if I were not on the precise cocktail of mental health medications that I'm on right now I would probably just pack up my cats and whatever the hell can fit into my backpack and I would just start walking. I would just start walking and not even care where the hell I end up. I'd probably figure out a way to hitchhike to Garviv, but um, you know, I'm no longer in my 20s, so that would probably take at least twice as long uh, now. <laughs> but no, no, I'd probably find a way to hitchhike, you know, like if, uh, if that... Um, Shit, is she Danish? I don't know. Uh, Greta Thunberg, whatever. 
uh, yeah, she, she made, she made up that raft, and, you know, coasted the Atlantic to, uh, get to New York, or at least a portion of said, um, anyway, and, like, you know, if she could do that, I can figure out a way to hitchhike to Wales. That's, you know, find myself on, a, you know, some abandoned ruins of a castle or old church or something, and just, like, you know, park myself and the cats there, and, you know, <laughs> and then, like, wait until immigration comes in, <laughs> you know, there, uh, there, the, the, the UK equivalent of the INS comes by and figures out yelling at me about storage space, but, uh, yeah, I just wanted to, uh, just give a, um, just say that, uh, if, if you're really hating your home right now, too, you're not alone. You're so not alone. And, um, yeah, that's, that's about it, I guess. Um, as always, um, big thank you to, uh, my Patreon supporters. So, uh, my friend Susie, um, my friend, uh, Ali Valkyrie, um, uh, pagan polytheist blogger and activist, uh, living in France right now, and a young woman whose name I only remember as Allison. I've updated my Patreon tiers, and I am dead serious about every single one of them, especially the $50 one. Uh, so if you have more dollars and cents, uh, feel free to support all of my nonsense there, um, as well as um, Bandcamp. I'm, my music's on, some of my music is on Spotify now, so awesome. Um, so, but, uh, yeah, you can actually, like, buy it outright on Bandcamp, listen, anytime you want, anywhere you want, even without an internet connection. Well, after you download it, anyway. Um, I've got my shop, still got a bunch of buttons up there. I can do custom work, um, but, uh, I've got a process, so message me through Artfire about that. And, um, as always, bats and kisses, wear your sunscreen, and otherwise take care of yourselves, and... I'm going to put this back on and take my bicycle back home. Um, one of these days soon I should do a video about my bicycle, but um, i got to get it looked at again tomorrow. All right. Take care. Bye-bye. Oh, you're my sweet little new friend, aren't you? Aren't you? Hi. I know. I know. Come here. Oh, I know. I know. You know I'm taking some video and you don't want to. Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah, I'm leaving. Leave them want more. Leave them want more. You my new friend. Hey, you. Oh, you're so pretty. You're such a sweetie. Sweet little chubbin. Chubby little lumpin. Hi. Are you my friend? You my new buddy.